California State University, Northridge. Welcome. By watching this tutorial, you will learn how easy it is to edit a reoccurring meeting in Microsoft Outlook 2007 and 2010. We will be editing a single meeting within a series of reoccurring meetings. First, you will learn how to change the start and end time of a single meeting, and secondly, how to add additional participants to a meeting. Let's have fun and get started. Here we see an Outlook calendar. On this calendar, there is a reoccurring meeting beginning on Monday, November 8, which reoccurs three times over the month, additionally on the 15th and 22nd. With this example, we will change the meeting time for just the meeting occurring on November 22nd. Double-click the meeting in the series you wish to edit. The Open Reoccurring Item dialog box appears with two options, Open This Occurrence or Open This Series. By default, the Open This Occurrence option is selected. This is the option we would choose as well to edit the single occurrence. Select the OK button. The meeting occurrence opens with all the details of the meeting originally scheduled. Double check the start date to be sure you are on the correct date. Now to edit the start and end time. Select the down arrow in the start time field and choose the new start time for the meeting. Once the time has been changed, check to be sure that all your participants are available for the new meeting time by selecting the scheduling assistant command from the meeting occurrence tab on the ribbon. The scheduling assistant window opens and allows you to preview your participants availability. A change in meeting notification can be sent from the current view by selecting the send button or you can choose the appointment command from the meeting occurrence tab on the ribbon and select the send update button from this view. You may want to note in the text field that the meeting on only November 22nd has been changed to 2 p.m or any other information you wish to give your participants. Once the Send Update button is selected, Outlook will send a revised invite message to each participant. On your calendar, as the meeting organizer, you will see the meeting time changed immediately. Wow! Simple and easy and everyone is notified. Now for the second example. We will be adding additional participants to our reoccurring meeting. Start by selecting a single meeting within the reoccurring meeting series. The open reoccurring item dialog box appears. If you are only editing this single occurrence, select the first option, open this occurrence. If you want to edit all occurrences in this series, then select the second option, open the series. For this example, I will leave it at the default and edit only this single occurrence. The meeting occurrence window opens with the details of the meeting. Select the scheduling assistant command on the meeting occurrence tab in the ribbon so that when you add your additional participants, you will be able to see if they will be available for the meeting or not. In the all attendees column, add your additional participants. Looks like the new participants are also available at the meeting time. Great! Now select the Send button. The Send Update to Attendees dialog box appears asking if you want to send the updates only to the added or deleted attendees or to send the updates to all attendees. I want to just notify the new attendees of the invite so I will leave the option as selected by default and select the OK button. You can double check the meeting occurrence from your calendar by selecting the meeting and opening the occurrence. Select the open the occurrence option and the OK button to verify your information. Looks good in the to attendees field you can see that our new attendees are added. It's simple and easy to amend or edit any reoccurring meeting. The Scheduling Assistant tool in Outlook is a time-saving tool for you. I hope this was a valuable tutorial for you. Thank you for joining me and have a great day.